Welcome to the video summary of the February 2020 CV News. Here is what you can find in this month's edition. The Volunteering Interest Group has met in the European Parliament, together with CV board members and 28 other stakeholders from across Europe. Padova have opened their year as the European Volunteering Capital 2020, with a ceremony involving more than 5,000 volunteers and the President of Italy. The report from CEV's Valuing Volunteering Conference held as part of the 2019 Autumn Volunteering Congress is now available. And registration is open for CEV's next event in Galway, Ireland, about volunteering in large events. Save the date for the European Autumn Volunteering Congress 2020 in Padova from 21st to 23rd of October. And there's still the possibility to submit your initiatives that support refugees and include volunteers for part of the WISH platform. The CEV online volunteering guidelines are now available in French. And CEV has been advocating for a greater involvement of European civil society in the Conference on the Future of Europe. Also with a meeting of the MEPs responsible for the topic together with civil society Europe organisations. The family volunteering led by CV member Provobis has kicked off in Cluj Napoca, Romania. And there's been another volunteer exchange visit as part of the Values Project between Sheffield and Terrassa. CV director Gabriele Civico participated in the Cosmo Cafe event discussing the Lumos campaign Helping Not Helping about ending orphanage tourism. And CV gave a presentation to 20 students from Italy as part of the Comessi study visit. Two more volunteers from Belgium are supporting local youth and human rights in action projects in Zagreb, Croatia, as part of the European Solidarity Corps volunteers. And CV has participated in the strategic dialogue meeting on the European semester with DG Empel. CV is pleased to welcome two new full members, System and Generation Association from Turkey and the Southeast European Youth Network. The Romanian National Volunteer Gala 2020 has kicked off and will take place for the first time outside the capital Bucharest. CV's member in Flanders is organising a study day about developing a safe volunteering climate and focusing on good quality volunteering. And NCVO in England is organising a seminar about better research into volunteering. Check out the Erasmus Guide to see how Europe can fund your volunteering and especially the Key Action 3 call for social inclusion and common values for upscaling initiatives that engage volunteers for social inclusion and the Key Action 3 on policy experimentation for your validation projects. There's a new European Social Catalyst Fund available and a comparative synthesis report on social enterprises and their ecosystems in Europe has been published. There are several opportunities for strengthening capacity for the European Solidarity Corps. Here one about opening new avenues to volunteering in Budapest. Another about a quality boosting in jobs and traineeships. And the summit for strengthening the social economy in Europe in Germany, there's still time to register. There is a call for a special issue of Voluntas, looking at paradoxes within the management of volunteers. And you can still apply to present at the IAVI conference in Abu Dhabi. Selected presenters will be exempted from participation fees and presenters from national volunteer centres can apply for additional funding to support their participation. Apply now to participate in the Visca Erasmus final project conference and for the Service Learning and Higher Education conference in Bratislava in March. The Solidar Awards are coming up in June and also the Regional Forum on Sustainable Development for the UNESCO region is taking place in March in Geneva. More information available soon. We hope you enjoy this month's CV News.